Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to another episode of Mathematics Online Class. This episode is about multiplication and division in exponential notation. Relax and listen. Read each question thoroughly and choose the best answer. Number 1. 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 multiplied by 4 times 10 raised to the power of 17. A. 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of 26. B. 12 times 10 raised to the power of 26. C. 14 times 10 raised to the power of 26. And D. 1.4 times 10 raised to the power of 26. Which letter is the correct answer? Let's try to eliminate first the choices that are obviously wrong. Looking at the choices, we can easily tell that the exponential notations in letter B and C are not written in the general format of A times 10 to the power of N, where A is a number greater than 1, but is strictly less than 10 or a number between 1 and 9.99. Both letter B and C contain coefficients greater than 10, thus making them wrong. We are down with letter A and D. To find out which one is the correct answer, let's do the solution. First, multiply the coefficient and then add the powers. Simplify. It's not quite done yet. We still need to adjust our exponential notation to follow the general format. We can do this by moving the decimal point one place to the left and add 1 to the power of base 10. And our final answer is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 26. That's letter A. Number 2. 4 times 10 raised to the power of 9 divided by 1 times 10 raised to the power of 7. A. 4 times 10 raised to the power of 3. B. 4 times 10 raised to the power of 2. C. 4 times 10 raised to the power of 5. And D. 4 times 10 raised to the power of 6. The answer to this problem is very easy to figure out. I know you can already tell the correct letter even without doing the solution. However, for the sake of proving your answer, we still have to do the solution. Simply divide the coefficient and subtract 7 from 9. And then simplify. That's it. It's already in the general format and we don't need to adjust it. So, 4 times 10 raised to the power of 2 is our final answer. And that's letter B. Number 3. 6 times 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by negative 4 times 10 to the power of 2. A. 2.4 times 10 raised to the power of 26. B. 2.4 
times 10 raised to the power of 16. C. 2.4 times 10 raised to the power of 12. And D. Negative 2.4 times 10 raised to the power of 12. Which letter has the correct answer? This one, I think, is the easiest. You don't even need to do the solution to figure out the answer. Because if you know the basic rules of multiplying or dividing integers with different signs, then you can tell right away the correct answer just by looking at the choices. In the problem, one coefficient is positive while the other is negative. Positive times negative equals negative. With that knowledge, it's clear that the answer we are looking for contains a negative coefficient. And the only choice that is negative is letter D. That means letter D is the correct answer. Okay, let's pretend that we don't have any choices. And we need to do the solution. That's easy. We just need to follow the step in problem number one. Just multiply the coefficient and add the powers. Your answer is not yet final if the coefficient is not a number between 1 and 9.99. So, we still need to do some adjustments. Move the decimal point one place to the left. Then add 1 to the power of base 10. And now, we are done. Negative 2.4 times 10 raised to the power of 12 is our final answer. Number 4. 99 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by negative 3 times 10 to the power of 2. A. 22 times 10 raised to the power of 6. B. Negative 2.2 .2 times 10 raised to the power of 6. C. 3.3 .3 times 10 raised to the power of 8. And D. Negative 3.3 .3 times 10 raised to the power of 8. We can narrow down the choices by applying the same method we used in the last problem. The coefficients in our exponential notations have different signs. We already know that positive divided by negative will result to a negative answer. And with the choices given, we can immediately tell that two of them are incorrect just by looking at their signs. The choices that have positive coefficients are definitely wrong. Therefore, letter A and C are out of our possible answer. We are done with A and B. However, both are negative and we can be sure which one is the correct answer until we do the solution. Okay, let's do the solution then. Divide the coefficient and find the difference between the two powers. The coefficient must be a number between 1 and 9.99. So move the decimal point one place to the left and add 1 to the power of base 10. Simplify to get the final answer. That's negative 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of 8. Letter D is the correct answer. Number 5. 7.1 times 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2.9 
times 10 to the power of 2. A. 2.059 times 10 raised to the power of 8. B. 20.59 times 10 raised to the power of 8. C. 2.059 times 10 raised to the power of 6. And D. 20.59 times 10 raised to the power of 6. First, let's eliminate the choices that are invalid. We can look for the choices that did not follow the general format of A times 10 to the power of N, where there is only one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. Have you spotted them already? Right, it's B and D. The coefficient in letter B and letter D are numbers greater than 10. So, they can be the answer. We can only pick from A and C. Which one then? To be sure, let's do the solution. Let's start. We always begin by multiplying the coefficients and then adding the powers. We're not done unless our coefficient is in its correct form. Make some adjustment in order to arrive to the final answer. That's 2.059 times 10 raised to the power of 6. And that's letter C. Alright. That's all for this activity. See you next episode.